Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Valley episode number two. We're back, and I've done a little bit since we last left off. There was a boulder right here I cleared out, if you guys remember from the previous episode. I've also went ahead and did, like I said, I was uh, going to farm some sugar cane, and I got some more water ready to go for us, which, in fact, we're already getting thirsty enough to grab us a nice little bottle right now. also went ahead and cut down a tree, that weird, funky-looking tree that was back there, and that's why we have so many of these oak logs here. And we're going to go ahead and put those away for now. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I think we're going to go check out this village over here, as I have not done that yet. So let's go ahead and start us a new day, as we can sleep during any time of the day, which is awesome. And the other best part is, is you can, oh, 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 they're ready. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> yes. There we go. So now we can just right click and harvest our turnips. All beautiful link. Oh, look at that. The rainbow's all the way down there. Is that going to move during the day or is that just now stuck there? Hmm. Can't really tell if it's moving. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I like that. <laughs> um, all right. So I think we were supposed to head back to Jade and talk to her. Excuse me, Ulf. Don't mind me. This is the only downside to this, is this thing right here is kind of annoying. Hi, Jade. How are you? I have some hardy turnips. How you have done a fantastic job growing these hardy turnips. I am tempted to take them for myself, but you can keep them. I don't want you to have wasted your time on me. I should probably tell you that you can sell whatever you grow grow for gold. You'll just need a shipping bin if you want the Oh. <laughs> when he's open for business, to use them, all you have to do is right click with the item held in your hand and they should be ready to be shipped. In the morning, you'll get gold for everything you ship. If you don't want to ship everything in uh, by hand, just place a hopper next to the bin and it will happily insert. Profits go to whoever placed it. Just to let you know though, the turnips have been growing aren't really worth much. You'll need to grow some others, which you can get from me if you want to make more money. I do have a small supply, but I'm happy to trade for five flowers at any time. I would suggest, though, that you talk to my brother to get a general store built as soon as possible. The people there should be able to sell you much more variety than I could ever. As last reward, take this sickle. You'll need it to harvest some crops, and it's pretty effective at destroying dead ones. Thank you so much, Jade. How helpful you are. Look at that. We even got ourselves a brand new tool. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure. Just a friendly reminder, if you want more seeds, go to the general store. Get the uh, general store built. Okay, gotcha. I, I wasn't doing anything, you love. What's your deal, man? Looking at me like that. So I do think that is what we're going to do next. We're actually going to try to get that general store up and running, but I'm also going to go check out that village, as there is a really cool-looking build over there. It looks like some kind of church. I don't know if I've actually seen that before, but what I'm going to do is we're going to grab some oak logs, and she did give us some more turnips, which is wonderful. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and replant some more turnips here real fast. One, a two, a three, and we're going to give these guys a nice little water. And we'll keep it uh, eye on our progress of our tools to see how they level up. So you can see 31% on our watering can already. Our hoe is already at, uh, well, 10%. We want to level these up a little bit, especially our sickle. Now the sickle, you can actually level up a couple different ways. You can actually harvest some uh, crops like that, but you can also go ahead and break grass, I believe. And that does, I think, help level it up, if I remember correctly, that is. It does use durability, which is a little bummer. I'm pretty sure that it did level that up. I could be wrong, I guess. Maybe that changed. I'm not sure. Anyway, so let's talk to Yulof. He should be open today. How have you been getting on the only Bentley? Pretty good, Yulof. Pretty good. But I see you're not open until now, so I need to talk to you. Looking for a new building? Let me help you. Shop. All right, so first things first, I need to get this guy going. Boop. 
All right, so we need our shipping box. We got that guy. Now, the general store we want to get going as soon as possible, like Jade said. We're going to need three cases. We're going to need two more uh, thousand gold, and we're going to need a little bit of, I believe that is stone, and we're going to need some logs. So we're going to need some more woods. We're going to have to get cutting, but we'll check to see if we can maybe find some in that village over there um, first. But let's go ahead and place down our shipping bin. We're going to place it right here for now. And we're going to go ahead and deposit these turnips. Like she said, they're not really worth a whole bunch. Now, a better way of doing this is, uh, like she said, we'll put a hopper on this and it'll really help out a lot more. Um, but we'll get to that once we get a little bit more iron. Oh, and I got googly eyes, eh? I got googly eyes. I'm getting all googly eyed. <laughs> Look at me. It's hilarious. All right, so we got, um, how much wood do we got? Um... I think, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if they take any log. I want to assume they do. I can't remember if they uh, change that or not. But there we go. We got a little bit more water right there ready to go. All right, so let's go check out this um, this other village and see what kind of loots we can maybe grab from them. They seem nice enough, right? Yeah, I think so. Eh, they probably don't mind sharing a little bit. They seem like a prosperous village that are... Happy to help others, and right off the bat, we see a nice little blacksmith. And don't mind me, but I'm going to sneak in there, and I'm going to take from that blacksmith. <laughs> yes, that's right. So anyways, while we do a little bit of uh, pillaging and looting, you guys remember in the last video, I did mention that I do stream, and I do stream every single day on Twitch. And if you guys are interested in checking that out, like I said, all those links are down below. Um, and you guys can check that out. Uh, follow me on uh, Twitch if you want. It's all free over there, too. I prefer the, the Twitch community. I am also affiliated over there, so I can't really stream on YouTube. I know a lot of people ask me that, oh, so why don't you just stream on YouTube? Well, I'm already affiliated over there, which means I get you know, um, access to like having bits and subs over there and stuff like that. And if I stream on YouTube, there's a very good chance that I could lose that uh, if Twitch notices so I don't really want to lose it and uh, I do like streaming over there and it's not like it's um, you know cost anything for anyone to just want to watch but anyways uh, pretty much every day every night uh, except for Sunday nights so probably like you guys are seeing this today I won't be streaming tonight but yeah but I also will be playing on a vanilla patreon server that I have so that got the patreon links down below you guys can check those out if you guys are interested just kind of look at all the stuff if you're interested and want to help support a little bit more. Um, you guys can uh, check out on the Patreon. That'd be awesome if you guys want to. But anyways, enough of that. Let's do some more looting and all that goodness. Let's see. What do we got? We got fish, a bed, a flower pot. Ooh, a flower pot. That would have been nice to have without having to find the stupid clay earlier. That's fine. Look at all this wool in here, by the way. <laughs> if we ever need wool for anything. There we go. Uh, let's see, so there's also some other things, by the way, that you can actually put inside of your shipping bin. And there's certain things, like, I think you can put sugar cane in there and actually still get, uh, money for. It's not a lot, but it does add up once you get, like, a really nice sugar cane farm. So there are some ways you can kind of get around certain things. Um, you can actually check, I believe there is a wiki, and I'll probably look at that myself a little bit later on to see exactly what all we can actually put inside of there. And it'll kind of give you a little representation, I believe, of what they set up for, um, maybe this pack even. Or if they didn't change it at all, they might have some changes, um, um, in their scripts, uh, for the price of certain things. So, we can check out and see. But, uh, let's... This is interesting. I think this is some kind of church. I do like the way this is built. This looks really nice. Like I said, oh, dude, there's an enchanting table in there? How do I get in? Where's the inn? And by that, I mean, where's the door? Is it like buried? Is it a buried door? I might have to just break in. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm going to break in. I don't really see a way in. I don't know. Once we get in, we might be able to find where the actual door is. Okay. Interesting. There is a nice... It's like the... Like the lectern. lectern up, oh, there, there's the door. Okay. What's in the... Ooh, some books. Ooh, more paper. Very nice. Don't mind the paper if I do. 
Ooh, more chests in the bank? Nothing in them, though. Dang. Don't mind me. <laughs> What's at the top? Let's see if there's anything up here. Like I said, I don't think I've ever... Oh, man, you really made me come all the way up here for nothing. Man, is there an easy way down? I don't really want to go all the way back down. Dang, there's no easy way down. <laughs> there's no easy way down. I don't know if that's a song, but it could be. Right, there we go, and boom. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, I can't go that way anymore. <laughs> Whoopsie. What's up, buddy? Mr. Luke, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well, Mr. Luke. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? No, empty building. Who are you? Dr. Maximilian? You look more like a blacksmith to me. <laughs> I am a doctor. I slept at a Holiday Inn and Express last night. <laughs> I'm a doctor and a blacksmith. I can cure all of your aching tools needs. Well, there you go. I'm a, I'm thinking... No, no, no. There's a little bit more. There's a little bit more. And plus we still have that. But that only really has food in it. But, uh, yeah. This is neat. What do we got up here? I think I've been in one of these before. I don't really want to tear down their structures because these structures actually look really nice. And I think they're really going to look great kind of in the distance from our place, you know. It's a nice little sofa or couch, whatever you want to call it there. Is there any chest in this one? Oh, hello. Oh. Ooh. Nice little sword. Some water. Yeah, I don't mind taking the water. Uh, mm. I mean, we could cook those. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's trade. Does this jukebox have anything in it? No, of course not. Why would a jukebox ever have anything in it? Everyone always takes their discs with them wherever they go. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right, well, let's get back to the place, and uh, let's start working towards trying to get us some, uh, some monies for... Oh, that's another thing we can actually do. I totally forgot about that, by the way. So what we'll do is we're going to try our best here. I'm going to go ahead and drink a little... Actually, I really need to drop some stuff off. But what we can do, actually, is if you find villages like this, uh, we can actually take certain things out of it, kind of like the... Um, let's see... Usually these things have like a lot of wheat and everything, and what you can do is you can actually sell wheat, and I believe you can also sell like bread and things like that. So if you want to go ahead and sell that, you can. Man, there's so much. Um, good golly gee. Um, yeah, that's fine. What about you? What do you got? Bread. Okay, cool. Uh, water bottle. <laughs> and I think we can actually sell the carrots as well. But I'm just kind of running out of space here. Which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Up. Oh, let's go up. So many beds in here. Ooh, and some more fishies. Man, a lot of water, too. It's so good. It's so good. But yeah, see, we can't we can't harvest those. Even with the sickle, you can't harvest those anymore. Those are just inharvestable. Uh, or unharvestable. <laughs> hey, I, I make words. I do things. I like making words. Especially when I make them up. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Let's head back home. It's about to be night time. We usually want to make sure we get our rest in as well. So let's go do that. Ooh, look at those black horses over there. Ooh, those are pretty. Very nice. I do want to get a horse at some point, which I do believe we actually did find a saddle as well, which is going to be wonderful. Let's go ahead and try to get back before it gets too late. I think there is a cutoff time for when you can put um, things inside of your shipping bin, so... And, excuse me, I have, like, slight, almost, like, hiccups or something. <laughs> um, but, alright, let's go ahead and head over here. I'm going to show you guys. I do believe any item that you right-click on this, if it takes it, I do believe that means it, you can actually um, sell it. So we're going to sell a good chunk of those. 
And I don't know, can we sell fish? Oh, yes, you can. Now, they may not be worth much, but you can sell them. So let's go ahead and sleep through the night. Wake up in the morning. Let's see how much money we made from just selling some bread. And oop, our turnips and our fish. Ship ahoy. What is that for? Ship your first items. Indeed. And look at that. We made over 3,000 gold. Look at us go. Rock on, everyone. Heck yeah. All right, so we got all that. Let's go ahead and put that away. Let's put some of these water bottles away because we don't need all of those at the moment. We'll put a lot of this other stuff just kind of, uh, you know, stored for now because we just don't absolutely need it. We'll leave a little bit of water on us because we are going to be thirsty, which we already are. So let's go ahead and drink up. And we're going to go need to chop down a little bit more wood. Which would have been nice to grab the other axe, but we'll be all right, I think. Might go over there and get that a little bit later on. Um, hmm. How much did he need for the... Let's just try something. <laughs> let's try something. Let's see. Of course, we have to wait anyway, so while we're waiting, let's go ahead and chop down some trees. Let's find something to chop down. Ooh, is that? No, okay. That I thought that was like a big tree with bark on it. Now, these trees are kind of nice to cut down. Let's go see if we can go uh, work on that one a little bit. Uh, let's see, let's see. Maybe... I'm almost tempted to use these diamonds and just go ahead and make me a diamond axe, which honestly would not really be the worst idea in the world. So let's go ahead and do that. Bloop, 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 There we go. And we'll go and use this one out until, um, until it's dead. And then we'll start working on getting that general store up and running so we can get some more, uh, crops. We do need to water our crops as well today, which I did not do yet. But, like I said, we got all day. They'll be fine. They were watered just yesterday. And the really cool thing, too, is, um, there are rainy seasons. And when it does rain, you actually don't have to water your crops, which is really, really neat. Now, what you can do is you can actually, like I said, sleep through the day and make the rain go away, which is awesome. Um, see what I mean? Like when you place them, like they fix. It's kind of neat. But what you want to do is you want to get to the top of this dude and just start whacking it all down. And uh, once you're done, you pretty much just collect it all at the bottom. wish we kind of had like a tree feller. We might have like some kind of axe that might be able to chop down full trees, but I don't think there was, at least in the, the time that I was playing this before on my stream. I didn't ever really come across anything that allowed me to do that, but they did add in some new mods, so there might be something eventually. And plus, actually, I take that back with Batania being in here, and I don't think I touched on, but ooh. I see bone meal and lots of iron. Ooh, we're going to have to go get that, too. Um, with Batania being in here, the Terra Steel um, Axe can chop down entire trees, I do believe. So uh, we can actually work in a little bit of, a little bit of Batania, actually. Actually, I haven't touched Batania in a while, and I, I was kind of religiously staying away from Batania because, A, I felt like it was being used way too much. And uh, B, I was actually playing it a lot in a lot of different packs uh, a couple months ago. So I was just kind of getting bored of playing it. And I went through it like a few times, killing the Gaia Guardian or the Gaia or whatever you want to call him. Heck, I already forgot. <laughs> um, and I like killed him so many times or her or whatever you want to call him. But um, killed him so many times, it's just, I don't know, I kind of got bored. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. I love the Terra Steel. I, I really do like Batania. I just, you know, use something too much. You do get, kind of get a little tired of it. you got to change it up a little bit. But I do think that they have added new stuff to Batania. But this is also an older version of Batania because we're in a, you know, 110.2 of Minecraft. I don't think it's updated like it is in 112.2, which is a little sad, but it's okay. Um... But there is some really nice stuff in Batania that we can definitely use as well to help automate and fix things. Oh, there goes our axe. And uh, we'll definitely try to get to that and maybe help us out in this pack a little bit. I mean, we got that. We got a couple other mods that we can actually look into, like Railcraft. And we got um, Immersive, which I think will be really nice. I'm pretty sure the cloches might be not working like 
Well, some would think they're, they might for mystical, though. I don't know. It is something we might have to look into. But I don't mind grabbing this iron, because I can definitely use it. But there are other ways that you can actually mine. There's other ways that you can actually uh, get resources, too. Of course, you can go down into the world and do some actual mining and stuff. But this, this is nice. I don't know if we can actually use this, but we can try. I don't know really what the bone mill will... Oh, yeah, that water lag. Totally haven't missed that in the newest versions of Minecraft. <laughs> and these are wonderful. These will, I don't know what we can use these for. I don't know if this is going to actually help our crops. I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to help our crops. I, we might be able to find some use out of this. See, look at that. Already. Like, I'll have to remember where this is at so I can come back and pick up some more of this. But I'll grab a few more blocks real quick and then we'll go get started on that general store. I'm trying to get that done before the... The end of today. So let's head back. We got plenty of wood. We should have plenty of oak to give them. Um, we are going to actually have to cook up some stone, actually. So let's let's get some stone. I think he said, what, 16 stone? I think we actually have a little bit of cobblestone already back there also. But I want to make sure I save a little bit because I want to make sure we have enough. Because I'm going to be doing uh, my own home. I'm going to be building a nice little home a cozy home that will upgrade over time i think that'd be kind of cool reminiscent of like harvest moon and stardew when you start in like a little house and then you can upgrade it and expand it as the as day goes by and everything like that i think that's really neat so we really need to get this going right now let's put 10 in you 10 in you and let's just go ahead and do that let's go ahead and use a little bit of this get a little bit more of those and put those in there yes we can use other things but let's go ahead and check out uh, our farm and get that watered and we'll go talk to you and hopefully he's still open but I think tomorrow he's closed which is sad I don't know what time he closes today I think he might already be closed might have spent too much time 1730 I think we're good yeah we're good top left not top right <laughs> all right so we just need to hurry up and let this cook through yeah, see, we got plenty of cobblestone. Um, let's pull a little bit more out. Just kind of let that go for now. Let's put that away. Let's put these away. Sort that real quick. Let's take a look at bone meal. Let's see. What do we got? We can use it to obviously dye things. I don't really know how to use Psy. I know it's kind of like a programmer kind of thing for some of it, and some of it is... Not really that much. It's just kind of like basic stuff. Okay, so yeah, we can use it to make a lot of floral fertilizer. That would work. Uh, oh, you can actually... Oh, you can make them now. Oh, yeah, with mystical agriculture. Okay, that's cool. You can re-dye wool. You can make all, all the other dyes. And then we might need it for like the runic altar and stuff like that. Alright, so let's see if this is enough. I want to say it was 16 for the general store, and they need more logs and everything. So let's talk to Yulif. Yulif, I need you, buddy. I need you. I've got the best blueprints around. Shop, general store. Oh, now he needs a stack. Son of a blooper pooper. Crip. Crip. No. Why? Why do you need that much stone? Crap, I don't know if I'm going to make it in time to finish but that's okay that is okay in fact I don't even know do I have enough hmm. All right, let's just go ahead and do this as well so we got 25 that's gonna be like 49 yeah, we got enough. All right, so we got enough for a stack. So the downside is, is we're, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to re-sleep through tomorrow and basically just kind of wait for that to finish up. Um, we do need to set up some really good ways to get some, some decent amount of, um, I'd say, like, uh, hmm, storage somewhere. I'm not sure, um, but we do have refined storage, which would be awesome once we kind of get to that point, but... We are going to have to go through and, I believe, do some of the general store stuff. Because I think I think something a part of enriched, I think, iron is 
Um, actually, yeah. See, you you can only buy this at the blacksmith. So that is that's the that's the limiting factor there of refined storage. We actually have to make a blacksmith, and then we have to buy all of the enriched iron to make the storage that we need, which isn't a bad thing. I like it. I think it's pretty neat, honestly. It's a, it's a different way to play. All right, so let's see, let's go ahead and do this. So I'm I'm pretty sure, yeah. Let's see, yeah. So he's already closed. We're not gonna make it through that. So we're gonna go ahead and probably just sleep the night away. And he's gonna be closed on Saturday, which is fine. I, I'm probably gonna forget this in the future, but normally I do. Um, let's go ahead and water our farm early in the morning. And let's see, where are we at? 52%. So once we get the blacksmith up and running, that'll be one of the first things that we'll really, really be happy about expanding, or not expanding, but upgrading. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm actually really excited for this. I really enjoy playing this pack. This pack, I was, I, I had a lot of fun playing it on, I was uh, doing it on stream, but um, there are a few things a little bit later on. It does kind of get a little... 110 was not really a great version for modded because things were kind of a little stuttery and there was just kind of some some just some issues some like performance issues and stuff like that and I'm hoping we don't really have too much of that going on anymore but uh it probably will still feel some of that um while playing this, but we'll, we'll do our best to get through the most of everything that we can try to. I don't know if we're going to get to, like, the end of, like, doing mystical agriculture, because honestly, I'm not really a big fan of mystical agriculture. I'm not sure why they really put it in this, to be honest with you, but I guess for, like, trying to get certain things without having to buy them later on, maybe, um, so you can get um, a better sort, you know, and you can also make uh, multiple of these, like, your own villages, but you have to go, like, far enough away, I think. I can't remember how far it is, but it might be, like, 250 blocks or something like that. Um, let's see. We could go get a horse. Ooh, that would not be a bad idea. We could totally do that. So let's actually, I think, don't they like sugar? So let's go see if we can get a horse. That'll definitely help us get around a lot better. Yeah, let's go do that uh, for today. While our stone finishes cooking up, and we won't have to run or expend so much food and water getting around, would not be a bad idea to get a horse to start off with. And there's some really nice looking ones over here, so I'm going to grab one of these guys. And I also really love these bluebells from Nitra. Oh, and that's another thing about, um... We might go back to the other village as well. I just don't know if I can on this horse, because I think we have to cross water and stuff. Oh, there we go. There's a... Oh, there. Okay, it's fixed. <laughs> that was quick. It's just like things just stopped. So I don't want an all black, or do I want a black with white? Eh, I don't know. Maybe an all black horse. You look like a good horse. What's the 22 mean? Oh, that's the health, right? You have googly eyes on your butt. That's funny, though. <laughs> 21. Okay, so this other horse has more health over there. You have a lot more. Hey, buddy, can I interest you in some some sugar? Yeah, you like that? Is that delicious? Can we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Please be friends with me. I'll give you more sugar. If you love me long time. Please! Please let me tame you! Come on, friend. Ah, there we go. Very nice. Wait, what did you, what did you do that for? We're already friends. Yay, we have a horse! That's another thing we can actually chop down and get some good chunks of wood for, too. We'll definitely do that. But yeah, if you find, like, wheat, um, like, in the containers of the village, take those, place it in just your crafting square, turn it into the nature of, uh, powder or bread, whatever that is. I can't remember, so if you were typing, like, wheat. If you use usage on it. Yeah, wheat flour from nature. All you have to do is one for one will give you basically a piece of bread. So you just take that. That turns it to wheat flour. The wheat flour you just put in here, and it turns it into a piece of bread, which then you can sell, which I think sells not too bad, as you can see. We got some decent gold um, the day we sold that, so... 
Plus, we also sold a few other things, but yeah. Anyway. We has horse. We has a beautiful horse. Well, we might not actually get to being able to, um... Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. <laughs> Unfortunately. We can actually get the general store, but it's... See, and look, this is the day it rains. Look at that. But, hey, all of our crops are watered. We don't have to water today, which stinks also in a sense because we can't level up our watering can. But uh, all we got to do is wait a little bit for uh, you lift. He'll go ahead and open up. Now, I wish we could find a lead. I don't have any slime, and I don't know if I can actually make slime. Do we have, like, rice slime? A good way to check this out is to check out the slime block, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like we don't really have a way. So we'd have to probably do the mana infusion, which I know we have cactus, um, or can get cactus because we found that desert in the first episode. Um, but yeah, as far as everything else, I guess, hmm, the lead is going to have to wait. Unless there's another way to make a lead. I'm not really sure how to get slime in a bucket. Horse, don't wander off. I have to make you like a stable or something. And what time does he open up? Oh, and by the way, this is also really cool too. And you can sell these as well. So what you can do is these will pop up over time. These as well as rocks. They'll be in different shapes and different sizes. And you can pretty much just pick them up. They're also really nice because they're very decorative as well. And you can replace them back. Um, they look nice and everything, but you can actually take them, and when you pick them up, you can actually sell them and put them in your shipping bin. And you'll get a little bit for it. It's not really a lot, but it adds up over time if you end up finding some. Like, I'm sure if we looked around, we could probably... Yep, see? There's a rock. In this case, it's a boulder. I don't know if we can actually pick this up with this, though. Yeah, that's not the right thing to do, so... Unfortunate as it is... I think I gotta wait till 9 o'clock. See, look, and here's a little tiny stick. Let me pick those up. It's really nice, though. A bunch of little things that just kind of happen. Like, there's another one over there. You might even wind up just seeing them pop up. I don't know if they just pop up overnight, though. I think, they, I think that might be one of the things that happens overnight. So today's episode might be a little bit longer. I hope you guys do not mind. And, uh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I love it. And if you don't like the rain, I understand. It, like, for me, I'm not a big fan of it because it, it kind of hurts, like, uh, like when I streamed, it would hurt my bit rate. And probably during recording, it's going to take a lot more for this to render out, which is something I don't really like to wait for and all that stuff. But um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and buy our general store. We have everything we need. He took literally almost all of my stuff, and we can go ahead and start setting this up. And I think a nice place for this general store will probably be right over here somewhere. I like this pond, by the way. Ooh, nice. In fact, actually, what I'll do is, uh, you guys already seen how I uh, build these. I'm going to figure out a place to put this off camera. It's going to take him a while to build this. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to find a nice place for him to do this. And uh, we'll have it probably built in the next episode. So I'm going to go ahead and call it there for today. Say so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Farming Valley. And if you guys did, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Let me know you guys are enjoying and liking the series. If, um, if you guys really, really enjoyed and want to see more and uh, want to always be notified, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell notification next to it so you guys can be notified when I do post a new video on the channel. Be sure to check out all the awesome links down below as well in the description. And we will see you guys in the next episode. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, be sure to put them in the uh, comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.